Alright, so what's going on, Toxic Gamers? Today we're talking about the PlayStation 6, man. It is here, it is coming. It's not here, but it's coming, is what we're hearing. And yeah, a lot of people are all of a sudden are starting to talk about the PlayStation 6 as well. And a lot of people are like, hey man, this is probably gonna be a thousand dollars. No games, no sound, no disk drive, <laughs> you know, no stand, none of that, none of that. It's gonna be a thousand plus dollars like the video if you just want good games man dislike the video if you just want consoles after consoles without any games and them being a thousand dollars maybe even two two thousand dollars you never know right inflation is getting it's rising up i, I want to know where you guys at shout out to the homie Cree tv he made this uh, up for playstation 6 right here but apparently we're getting like a lot of news right now and i want to shout out the homie smash jt check this out roll it hot off the heels of the playstation 5 pro falling Wait completely for flat with gamers we have some information about the playstation 6 because why not add yet another console yeah. into a race of consoles that people are saying why can't we just get some games for these? What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode. Y'all got any games? No, we don't have any, we have any games. And even the homie Dreamcast, right? Firstly, coming 2028, $1,000. <laughs> Imagine this is $1,000. Ah, oh, man, this like, is crazy, bro. $1,000 US dollars. That's going to be easy. Easy like $1,300, $1,400 Canadian plus taxes is easily gonna get down to sixteen hundred dollars and if you want the disk drive separately the vertical stand separately easily gonna be seventeen hundred eighteen hundred canadian right bruh like let's just, just buy a pc damn it and then you gotta pay on for online every single year then of course you gotta buy the games which understandable but like but like damn these things are doing highway robbery what the hell you guys doing over at playstation may Damn, this thing is crazy, bro. Out of Smash JT, and yeah, AMD has secured a contract to create the system on chip for PlayStation 6. According to Reuters, this console is going to be starting production eventually, and they're laying the groundwork right now for it and getting the contracts all sorted out, making sure that the PlayStation 6 comes to fruition in a store near you. And one of the main focal no. points of the PlayStation 6 is backwards compatibility. Can Sony make up their mind on what they want to do? Smash JT. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full exhaustive article breaking down. Like the video, man. Imagine, imagine doing this crap where you are gonna hype up a new console, and hyping up a new console means you have to hype it up with old ass features that exist on Xbox. Like, come on, what are we talking? No, listen, I want backwards compatibility. I think it's cool that we're gonna get it back. I really do want it. It should be the bare minimum. We should have had it with PS4, where we could have played PS3 games on it. On PS5, we could should have had the PS3 backwards compatibility. We, we got the PS4 one, but we should have had the PS3, PS2, and PS1. Oh, hell yeah, what are we talking about, man? Damn, this thing is crazy. That's like one thing that uh, I gotta give credit to Microsoft. I mean, of course, they don't have games as well, but... At least they got backwards <laughs> they got backwards compatibility right and this is one of those things right you need competition you need competition because xbox of course they are still not winning the console race but, but because of their past uh problems and their past failures but at least they had the backwards compatibility and they're trying right now i mean they're trying i mean even playstation and xbox both of them both of them don't have any new and massive games right playstation still has better stuff in terms of games and content but both of them are sucking ass right now it playstation 5 is of course two times even three times ahead in the sales and this is why we're seeing them charge like what uh 700 us dollars for ps5 pro this suck like, is crazy without any on any like major improvement if the improvements were massive then understandable i get that i get that then but the improvements are not even there so what are we talking about and now you guys are hyping up playstation 6 now admittedly we're hearing that it's gonna be coming out in 2028 uh, previously we heard 2027 this that's it's gonna come out after uh 2027 but now we're hearing 2028 so makes sense like four years from now yeah makes sense but but still man like damn where are the games and you know that two years from now we're just gonna start to get leaks about it uh 2027 they're gonna start to officially hype it up and market it and you know four years from now by the end of 2028 because we're almost by the end of 2024 so four years from now we're probably gonna get we're gonna probably gonna be able to buy it 
Down Crazy. all the information, first broke the news with Reuters, and all the information they gave out here with how Sony has contracted AMD as the same company that they had for the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 5 Pro. They have signed yeah. them again now to work on the PlayStation 6. And yeah, not a big deal, not a big surprise. It makes yeah. the most sense. Yeah, yeah. But there were other companies like Broadcom and Intel trying to get in there and get that business. But AMD won out. They said the reason why is because they're already familiar with how all this works and the same yeah. ecosystem fair, and environment. Fair, fair. And it would just make sense, especially because Sony wants to focus the PlayStation 6 Mm. on backwards compatibility. Now, far be it for me to say this, but isn't that what the PlayStation 5 Pro is supposedly doing anyways, at least when it is comes it? to- Is it though? I, oh man, if this actually lets us play PS3 games, then damn. But still though, these things are crazy though, don't get me wrong. It should, but even PS5, normal PS5 should be able to like the video if you agree. <laughs> Man, like, th these suckers are crazy, man. I am all up for backwards compatibility, but the fact that these suckers are gonna, like, charge us that much money and hype a new console and be like, yeah, man, play back, do backwards compatibility. It does backwards compatibility. That's lame, bro. That's lame, bro. Come on now, man. To playing PlayStation 5 games, upscaled and higher FPS, why do we need a... Okay, so it, backwards compatibility as an upscaling PS5 games. Okay, I did not see that coming. Bruh, I was thinking about like PS3. Okay, guys, it is over. PlayStation 6 again? Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't keep pushing technology forward and making better consoles and pushing the bar as far as we can for gaming to keep progressing and being better. I'm not against that. All uh -huh. I'm saying is I feel like at this point in time, we've reached a peak of where the graphics and frames per second and processing power can all get to and it feels like especially sony but microsoft to a lesser extent are lot. pushing the bar over and over hey yo what you're doing with those hands bro what you doing smash it don't do that don't do that quick little commercial break guys if uh, no nah, it's not a commercial break shout out to i want to shout out you guys okay shout out to big zen shout out to kels shout out to alex shout out to legend for following over on the instagram appreciate you guys man if you guys do have instagram i would love to have you there links in the pinned comment all right let's get back to the content here boo boo but don't do that brother don't do that man what the hell are you doing man over and over again hey. and the results are fairly similar to what we already have. It's not like this giant leap forward in technology like it was with the NES to the Super Nintendo or even the Super Nintendo to the PlayStation 1 or even N64 if you want to stay in that same family or even the PS1 to PS2 or the PS2 to PS3. And yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, might yeah. even give you the PS3 to the PS4. But then you get to the PS4 to the PS5 and I'm like, okay. Yeah, I guess I kind of see some marginal shadow difference. Yo, PSSR can go pound sand. It can get mama, man. For $700, bro, like, y'all suckers can kiss my BBC. Yo, y'all suckers can suck my BBC, bro. This is, and ray tracing, as they always say. But it's like, you don't really notice too much of it. Bro. It does look marginally better. Not gonna lie. It is better. But at what cost? An entirely new console, an entirely new ecosystem, entirely yeah. new games that you need to rebuy all over again because they're not going to make original games, just to say, hey, I'm playing this on the latest technology. And look, you can see an extra strand of hair on this person. And, and they're probably... <laughs> and I know these suckers are definitely going to make, uh, make it so when you go in your friends list, it's gonna show the icon and it's gonna show you the logo. Look at that. Look at that friend of yours. That friend of yours is playing that game that you're playing right now, but on the PS5 Pro. See, you peasant, go buy a PS5 Pro. So there's gonna be a whole lot of that. These things work with psychology. They got psychologists running around their studios, bro. Like, let me tell you this one, man. This is what, they, what they're gonna do. They're, what, they're gonna like get you to buy it, man. They're gonna get you feeling like a peasant. Don't fall for their bowl squash, okay? Unless it turns out that GTA 6 is, but but that's still gonna be bull squash though, right? What I was gonna what I was gonna say is that if it turns out like GTA 6 uh, has 60 FPS on PS5 Pro, but 30 on PS5 and Series X, then okay, makes sense. But but still, man, like that that at that point, I'll, I I'm gonna be convinced. I'm still convinced if they do that, that means. By the way, we're hearing it's still gonna be 30 FPS, right? Like that's. <laughs> That's what we're hearing. But if it turns out 60, then at that point, I would be convinced that it could have been 60 FPS even on the normal PS5, but they didn't do it. 
because they wanted you to buy a PS5 Pro. But if the graphics are like e even more crazy than normal PS5 and Series X on PS5 Pro, you know, you got more perks, let's just say backwards compatibility where you can play the PS3 games. It's gonna, it's gonna start like another wildfire for sure. Like Sekka's gonna talk about it, right? And rightfully so, gamers gonna be on their ass. They already are. Absolutely, makes sense. But at least at that point, you would have an incentive to buy the PS5 Pro because right now there are none. It's just like 10% better graphics, right? They say it's 45%, man. The only 45% better is the price, my G. I would argue like the price is more than that. I guess it's 45% almost give or take, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe less than that, right? But normal PS5 was $500. This one is going to be 700 USD. So yeah, like 500, 45% give or take a little bit, right? 100% price increase would have been $1,000. So, you know, yeah, I would say the price is more like 40% increase but they're saying 45% so you, you know what I mean 45% increase of graphics now nah, son it's only 10% I would even say 5% you can literally turn on or increase the sharpness on your TV or on your monitor and get your game looking like that you're playing on PlayStation 5 Pro even on PlayStation 6 but my guy here you go here you go I'm giving you I'm giving you the secrets of the universe for absolutely free guys like the video man like the video that's your cost right that's your price right there but isn't it awesome but before I even get too far into that let's talk about what Reuters reported from Sony regarding the decision and how it was influenced uh -huh. specifically because they wanted a seamless transition for gamers allowing them Toxic to continue gamers. enjoying their PS5 Toxic gamers games on a new system Bruh. because you can't already just enjoy your ps5 games on your ps5 you need to buy an entirely new, new system that can process them better <laughs> apparently Bruh. and replay them again on that system i mean Bruh. are we sensing a, a theme here and a yeah. problem and ironically this is coming on the heels of the playstation 5 pro announcement where <laughs> i had the same exact complaints i'm like what what are we even doing here? If the game that's being created is not justifiable to go on next generation hardware, why are you doing it? Just make yeah. the game for the current hardware. If you want to make a next gen leap and you want to make a game that's so spectacular, so big, so insanely incredibly expensive to create to make sure it goes on that next generation console, then do it. But the problem is, no one wants to take that risk. The primary concern with Sony appears to be maintaining backwards compatibility without incurring insane costs or diverting too many engineering resources for that part of the project. And transitioning yeah. from AMD to one of those different suppliers like Intel or Broadcom that I mentioned earlier would have risked some compatibility issues and most likely yeah, would have required a significant effort to overcome any unexpected technical hurdles. Yeah, I, I believe like this is one of the reasons as well uh, that th this is why they did not do ps3 backwards compatible i believe like because it was so different right it's so different it's not compatible and i guess to be able to get ps3 games working on ps5 it would be like very hard for them maybe it's like a budget issue maybe it's something else maybe it's gonna be like a lot more time consuming i don't know what it is but it it's something like that that we heard a while ago too but like come on man like we don't give a damn bro like make it your competition is doing it you should be able to do it too man come on bro which is a good thing because it has to be backwards compatible. Could you imagine if Sony came out with a PlayStation 6 and it's like, yep, not backwards compatible with the PS5. Yeah. Like, bro. Here's uh, a remaster of Last of Us Part <laughs> yeah, 1 yeah, and 2. Yeah, yeah. Again, that <laughs> you need to buy again. And you can see more strands of hair on the people and more pieces of grass on the ground that you already see plenty of in the previous iterations of it it has to be backwards compatible it that's the be. thing it it's almost like we've reached a point in technology where it's gone so far that we're like jack on the island we have to go back add to that that concerns are also growing that the playstation 6 could launch at a 700 dollars price point oh, similar man. to the ps5 oh, pro man. paul tassi of forbes suggests that a 600 dollars minimum price seems inevitable but upwards of 700 dollars or more is not out of the question and he brought up several reasons as to why the biggest being obviously inflation adjusted cost of production i think realistically gotta be like it can I can see it be 600, but 700 most probably, just because PS5 Pro is as well, 
right and, and i wouldn't be shocked if they do if they if they do 750 for digital and 800 for <laughs> with the disc right <laughs> i wouldn't be shocked man and Sony's willingness to maintain a higher price due to less competition from Xbox. And exactly. it's a trend of increasing prices with these consoles with each iteration. But here's the biggest thing that Paul doesn't talk about in his Forbes article and that no one seems to be mentioning with the price increases on this hardware that Sony and Microsoft are selling people. It's mm. coming with mm -hmm. less and less hardware. Yep. Like look at the PlayStation 5 Pro, for example. Yep. People are like, oh my. No disk drive, no vertical stand. Like what, what, what are we talking about, man? And like we're getting a dickless PS5 or a discless, my bad. We're, <laughs> we're getting a discless. We're getting a discless uh, PS5, man. What, what are we talking, man? Oh my God, it's so expensive. It's like, oh, it's only a hundred dollars more than PS5. It's like, yeah, it also doesn't have a disc drive. Okay, Bruh. that's kind of a big deal. It's missing the disc drive. It costs more, and you get less. It's not the best buying proposition. With the console potentially aimed at a release around 2028, it seems like Sony is pushing the price higher than ever before, continuing yeah. a strategy of premium pricing amidst market Premium prices. You heard it right here, folks. Premium prices. Can a brother get a premium Can we get premium games? I mean, I'm, what, what, what are we talking about, okay? I'm not even saying like premium games. Like, we should get games. Look at this, this is a PS4 game, man. Like, damn, man, damn. Can we get games like the good old days, bruh? Like, what are we talking about? Premium price, my ass, bro. Y'all suckers can go pound sand, man. Guys, check out this video on the screen. Brand new Battlefield 6, man. Oh, yeah, man. It got leaked. I mean, it's not even leaked. It's officially showcased. It's officially shown. Check it out. Check this video out, and I'll see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.